Today let's talk about the mystery that lasted about 30 years and even questioned Newton's and Einstein's law of gravity. The two spacecrafts from the Pioneer mission, the Pioneer 10 and the Pioneer 11, were launched in the 1970s. The mission was to visit Jupiter, Saturn and to take a gravity assist from them to then continue their journey into interstellar space. Your on Earth, scientists were having a good look on their journey. They noticed something quite interesting. The spacecrafts on their way out of the solar system were decelerating, which was expected due to the gravitational pull from the sun. But this deceleration was a bit larger than what scientists calculated. This is the deceleration rate of the spacecrafts. This number is very small. But over a decade of traveling, the Pioneer 10 was a quarter of a million miles away from where it was supposed to be, which is roughly the distance between Earth and the Moon. Many scientists started to write new theories of gravity to explain this. Because it was not just the problem happening with Pioneer missions, there were other missions facing the same problem. But the Voyager missions that were launched to go to interstellar space were not facing this problem. So what was going on? So a common thing between the Pioneer mission, the Galileo mission and the spacecrafts which was affected by the anomaly which we now call as the Pioneer anomaly was that they were spinning. They had to spin to keep them stable and to keep them pointing towards the earth. This was necessary because their antenna was supposed to point towards the earth so it could exchange data with the earth but the voyager missions had a better technology that could keep the spacecraft stable by using thrusters and so on but still what was causing the deceleration it was found out that the deceleration was due to the thermal radiation coming out from the spacecraft so there were two sources of thermal radiation on the spacecraft and both were placed on the leading side of the spacecraft First one was the electric box and the second one was the radioactive material that generated the power. Both gave out heat in the direction of the motion of the spacecraft. This created a small photon pressure in the direction of the motion of the spacecraft, hence the deceleration. It's the same principle which works in a solar sail where photons of the sun propel the spacecraft forward as the photons hit the spacecraft. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and sub subscribe to my channel for all the future videos. Hit the bell icon. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.